so mm-hmm. we were working on that ng style attribute okay uh, which is good uh, so that worked fine right so hold on one second so we explored so you we understood that uh, usage of uh, ng style attribute right so that uh, style ca- class like online and all those things okay you could have you could have multiple style classes there's nothing wrong in that just wanted you to be aware of that okay mm-hmm. this is one thing uh hold on okay so we will explore little bit on input output uh, i need to give you one something on ng switch i'll try to get that example for you in the meantime uh, i'll try to walk you through on the ng switch okay sorry not on the ng switch on the input output okay hold on so get something ready for you for that reason one where did i keep that good lord sorry once again i'm just trying to i kept it in the morning really. for the same reason so okay okay fine uh, sharing data get data from the server wait one second uh, wait good lord where did i put that i think this is the one only so display list once again i'm just trying to get that uh, input output uh, we are navigating between components okay so okay the data between i can't get it to blur it's not the right thing ah okay fine sorry yeah so remember that you have i was telling you that we have a list of servers from the list of servers we are going to get the server details based on each server correct no so similar to the same example you have a parent and a child component or you can have communication between components okay certain times and then you might have to pass the data between the parent to the child or between the child to the parent okay so let's assume that i am passing the data between the parent to the child okay so in the child what i will say the child will receive like example i have a list of servers now you select a particular server and i will say give me the details so what you will do you will take the server details or a server id and then you go to the back end and then using the services you will get the details of that particular server id and you will show it in the ui is that correct are you yes. with me okay yeah so there what do you do is when you have to pass the data between the you have to pass the server id between the parent to the child uh-huh. okay in order to pass the data between the parent to the child you use an at input in the child to say that i am going to receive the server id in the child yeah okay so between the parent to the child the parent will send the server id to the child the child will declare like okay i have an input which is server id coming now using the server id it will use the services it will get the data from the back end and it will populate the details now using the that ng model the details will get updated the ui will render the new data correct no so same way so now you understood that the data flowing between the parent to the child so first we will understand that then we will try to figure out how to send the uh, how to send the update from the child to the parent which would be the next thing we will do is that okay are yeah. you with me yeah so observing this in the what do you do is like in the child component what do you do you declare an at input tag like this at input and instead of the item you can say call it like a server id i can show you an example what i have here like input output so wait one second uh, i'm opening that so are you able to see my screen right now 
yeah so if you observe that the parent will have okay so i have a parent component in the parent component i am having certain like say for example uh, i am passing the component value to the child so this is the child component or a child tag okay so the child component will receive the uh, parent component dot value and will be sent as an input to the child component so in the child component you will see it as an at input mm -hmm. ignore the output for now because we will uh, deal with the output later but first we will understand the input so the parent will send the parent id like the server id kind of thing and then you will pass on that server id to the child the child will receive that server id and will display it on to the child component so the ignore this for now okay so observe that value received from the parent component is the p data it can be anything it can be a string it can be number it can be boolean anything okay so i will send i will send this uh, code referring to this code you create a server id and pass the server id from the client to the server sorry from the parent to the child okay Okay, so I'll send this example to you. Hold on one second. So I have in out that zip file. I'm up, I'm uploading it into that particular website. So. Okay, so just uh, first uh, observe the data flow between the parent to the child, and then we will talk about from the child to the parent. Okay, okay. and also refer to this website to understand slightly one more time how the parent to the child the usage of that at input to inform that the child will be receiving this as an input from the external component, which is the parent component. it can be a parent component or it can be any other component also it need not have to be that parent means i over right or anything like that it's more like the parent or the another component sends the details to this component okay so i'm setting up the project right now no problem So refer to this and also like uh, uh, try to kind of uh, get uh, learn or understand from that input output and then pass the data between client to the server or server to the client so similar to the server you send it to server details or server server will have list of servers and server will have individual server details Um, what was the command we ran again? Unzip, like just unzip, right? Yeah, yeah. Unzip, yeah. Uh, you can create unzip into any folder you like. Just to ensure that you have room for compiling and all this.
Okay, so the project's running. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Sorry, I'm here on okay. Uh, can you share your screen? I'm just not able to. Uh, so, yeah. So, here, if you observe that the parent component value will be sent to the child. So, observe how the data flows between the parent to the child. Okay. And you can manipulate and change the code. Don't bother. Don't worry about all this. Okay. Just play around with it. After this, I'll share one more code for input output which is little more complex but yeah more bigger project but yeah but uh, understand the usage of that at input where you are specifying that i'm going to receive a value from an external component so, Uh, parent data. Okay. Okay. And then the child. Okay. So, um, so referring to this, use your other project and then add server. Servers will send the server ID to the to the child component, which is the server. Okay. Let's just do one the other one. Yeah. So I don't need to run both projects, right? Uh, Sorry, can you please repeat it? I don't have to run both projects, right? Yeah, no, no. More like you just learn from this. First, test, test it out, play around with it. If you get satisfied that uh, it, uh, you have understood how it works, then put it into experimentation on the new pro other project what I've provided. Or the older project, yeah. Uh, first, uh, play around with it, like just to make sure that you get the confidence that it is working as expected. Means at least sending the data between a parent to the child. I think I got it. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. 